A Christmas tragedy laid to rest today. That Eastside mother says she got a bit of peace when there was an arrest in the fatal hit and run case that took her son. But it's short lived peace. Yeah, that suspect accused of killing her 17 year old son and his best friend is behind bars now. John Paul Barajas talked with the mother just hours before her son's funeral today. She says what lies ahead for her family will be even more challenging. It's going to be the hardest day of my entire life to go sit there and see my son in the casket. A nightmare turned reality as Armanda Diaz said her final goodbye to her 17-year-old son, James Solis, at his funeral this afternoon. <laughs> James was supposed to bury me. I was never supposed to bury my son. Solis and his best friend, 15-year-old Jordan Canedo, were walking home from Christmas shopping the night of December 16th when they were ran over in a hit and run. The darkest Christmas of my life. His gifts are still under the tree and he'll never get to open them. But a few special gifts were buried with Solis. These are his Christmas gifts that I have to go put on him today. The suspect accused of being responsible is 23-year-old Leroy Morales. According to an arrest affidavit, Morales' sister stated her brother told her he sold his car because he hit something and shattered his windshield. He's charged with failure to stop and render aid and has a $100,000 bond. That bond amount is low for killing two kids, in my opinion. Obviously, I feel like you should never come out. Diaz has a message for Morales. So your excuse of I have a family to take care of and I got scared. James had a family he had to come home to and so did Jordan. Jafal Barajas, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.